Hi this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let me show you how to quickly apply Finder tags with keyboard shortcuts and other techniques. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about the Patreon campaign. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. So if you'd like to use Finder tags you may be frustrated with how hard it is to apply a tag to a file. Just doing it for one file one time it's no big deal. But if you want to tag a bunch of files you may want to have a quicker way to do it. So normally you would select a file like this one and then you can go to File and then you can select one of these favorited tags here. Or you can select this and then this comes up and you can type the name of a tag or select one of the ones below. Alternatively you can Control click Right click on a mouse, two finger click on a trackpad and then select one of the favorites here or click there and then also type the name of a tag or select one. But did you know there are hidden keyboard shortcuts to do this? So you won't find them here in the menu at all. There's no mention of keyboard shortcuts. But in fact using the Control key, that's Control not Command, and then one of the numbers 1 through 7 will choose one of these seven favorited tags here. So the first one's red, second one's orange, third one is yellow. So with the selected file Control 1 gives you red, 2 gives you yellow, and 3 gives you orange. You can also use these to remove them. So Control 1 and then 2 and then 3 will remove each one. You can also use Control 0 to remove all tags from the selected file. But what if you don't want to just use one of these favorites here? What if you have your own set of tags and you want to use one of those instead? Well those just apply to the favorites. So you can go to Finder Preferences then go to Tags here and then you've got your favorites right here. If you want to add your own just drag it like this one for work. I'm going to drag it to the first spot right there. I'm going to drag Invoice to the second spot and Biz to the third spot. So now that's what appears here in the Finder and these correspond to Control 1, Control 2, Control 3. So Control 1 will apply that first tag. Now no color is selected for it so you won't actually see it indicated here. But if I Control click on it I can see that one is checked. I did assign a color to Biz so Control 3 will assign Biz and give me that dot. So it's as easy as that. You have seven slots here and you can easily change which one is used for which tag. So you can even just do it temporarily. If you want to assign a tag to a bunch of files you can just take that first spot and drag the tag into it like this one, place it there, and Control 1 will now allow you to quickly assign or remove the Project Notes tag. Then when you're done you can always just swap these back for whatever you prefer as your default set. Now there are other ways to quickly assign tags. For instance with the file selected I can do Command I for Get Info and you'll see tags right here and you can click in it and select a tag or type a tag. This even works for applying new tags as well. You can just type the new tag there. But you can actually do this just using the keyboard pretty easily. So with the file selected Command I and then tapping Tab will go to the first thing you can change which is the icon. Tab again goes to the second thing which are the tags here. So two presses of the Tab key get you there and then you can type what you want. So just start typing and actually it will autocomplete. So one character gets me orange and then return. And now I've applied orange to this file. Command I, Tab, Tab and I'm here again. I can remove orange. I can add say Work really easily. So it gives you a good way to see and edit all the tags in a file with just a few key presses. Now also note you can use any of these techniques with multiple files at the same time. I'm sometimes asked how you can apply a tag to one file like this and then do it to another file but it takes all this work for each individual file. Well you could just select those three files or maybe if you want to apply them to all the files in this folder do a quick Command A to select all. Then use one of those keyboard shortcuts like Control 1 and it's going to assign the tag to all files. Control 0 removes all the tags from these files. And if I Control click with all those files selected I can select one of these tags and it's going to apply it to all of them. The same for using the File menu as well. But using Get Info is going to bring up six different Get Info boxes. So instead use Show Inspector. 
If you go to File there's Get Info but if you hold the Option key down it changes to Show Inspector. Option Command I. So let's do Option Command I and it will bring up this inspector and it says six items. And Now I can apply a tag to all six items like that. You can also use Show Inspector to view the tags and make changes as well. So if I select this file and do Command I I get the Info window here. And If I now select this file this Get Info window is still showing the info for the original file. But if instead I do Option Command I I'm on the inspector now. It looks similar but it's a little different. You can tell at the top here it looks different and this window floats above everything else. And Whatever I select it's going to show me info for what's selected. So I could go here and I can assign a tag for this file. I can go here and then assign a tag for this file. And then I can easily see the tags for anything that I have selected. And note if I have two files like this that have different tags and I select both of them it's going to show me the tags there but you see how they're kind of dimmed showing me they don't apply to all there. I can actually use this to remove those tags from all those files that are selected. Now there's one more technique I want to show you. What if you wanted to use a keyboard shortcut to activate the Tags dropdown. What you get when you go here and then you can just type whatever you want. Well you should be able to do that because File Tags is Tags dot 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 and if I go to System Preferences and then go to Keyboard Shortcuts then I go to App Shortcuts use the Plus button here to add a new shortcut. Let's set the application here to Finder only and set the menu title to exactly tags dot dot dot. And let's do a keyboard shortcut like Command Option T and Add. Now that seems to be there and it should work, right? But if we go to File and then Tags, the keyboard shortcut isn't there and it certainly won't work if we try to use it. So what's keeping it from working? Well, this section here is actually a special section with these dots and this tags dot 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 button. It's not a regular part of the menu. So it doesn't work with those keyboard shortcuts. But you can make it a regular part of the menu. The way to do that is to go to Finder Preferences, go to Tags, and for each one of these drag out like that to remove all of the favorites. Now of course this makes it hard to use any of the other techniques I just showed you. But if you get to No Favorites then what happens is in the File menu the Special section goes away and is replaced with a standard menu item Tags dot dot dot. And it's Option Command T because we set that up in Keyboard Shortcuts. So now with the file selected I can do Option Command T and this appears right there. And I could easily type something and set it. And I can use this to view the tags as well because it will show me those in there. I can use this to apply tags to multiple files as well. So red to both of those now. But the disadvantage is now I can't use Control 1, 2, or 3 to apply anything because there are no favorites anymore. But Control 0 still works to get rid of all the tags. So if you use tags in the Finder, I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.